Happy New Year to you. I do hope this finds you well and healthy. I am delighted to be starting January with some positive news for our landlord clients, which will hopefully come as some welcome relief after last year. Firstly, for those landlords with mortgage debt, lenders have continued to reduce their product rates, with mainstream lenders such as Halifax and HSBC reducing rates by up to 1% at the start of 2024. So clients now have the ability to borrow at rates not seen since 2022, and some with some sub 4% options. Now, although this is well above the 1% to 2% deals of the past, it is great to see some stability and a little competition emerging. Further good news, although we always proceed with caution when it comes to what the government are going to do, um, that the emergency cost of living legislation will expire on the 31st of March 2024. Our understanding of the government's current proposal is that from the 1st of April this year, landlords will be able to issue a rent increase notice for any amount, i.e. no 3 or 6% cap. The tenant could then, if they wished, refer this to the rent officer for adjudication, or they could just accept it. But if they refer it to the rent officer, the rent officer would be able to restrict the rent increase through some form of tapering mechanism. So the larger difference between the current rent and the open market rent, the larger the increase which would be permitted by the rent officer subject to a maximum figure yet to be announced, but it's likely to be in the region of 10 to 15 percent. Now, these proposals are still under consideration, so we will notify you as soon as a firm announcement is made about what the procedures will be from the 1st of April. Please, though, do bear in mind, if you're asking us to increase the rent now, any rent increase notices issued before the 1st of April are still subject to the 3 or the 6% cap, even if the rent increase doesn't come into a force until after that date. But rest assured, we'll be preparing for the 1st of April and we'll be in touch nearer the time for our suggest suggested bespoke strategy for each of our clients. Thirdly, some more good news. Uh, our programme of lead testing all relevant properties in order to be compliant with the new repairing standard is well underway and over 100 properties have now been tested and all were within the three microgram per limit per litre limit. This is excellent news, even if it's not very exciting, uh, and a major relief. Uh, we really didn't want to be lifting any floorboards or replacing any pipes. Plus, it's also really good to note that none of our tenants have been at risk. So exciting plans for the year ahead, all about better communication and enhanced information. So we have big plans for this year. Uh, building on the success of last year, we will be utilising our new website even more to provide you with valuable information. Our goal is to enhance our communication with you through the use of smart technology. We are currently trialling Loom videos where we can send you short snippets of information to save you time reading lengthy emails. And more of our newsletters will hope, hopefully be video generated to save you time. What I wanted to talk about now is just a quick market update and how we can adjust and support each other. In the current marketplace, we need to constantly be able to adapt and reflect on the current legislative regime, I can never say that, and likely changes to ensure a successful outcome for your tenancy and property. To do this, we have to strive even harder to deepen our relationships with you, your tenant, our contractors and suppliers. I would always urge you to listen to our advice as there are always situations that don't meet the narrative that you see in the press. While the current market favours tenants just now, so quarter one, which is normal for this time of year, we will emerge from this gradually as we move towards March, and this will be followed by the easing of the rent restrictions from April. Just now, there are fewer tenants for many more properties, so if, so if we are coming to you with a, a smaller choice of tenant, rest assured we are striving hard to seek the best of the applicants that are out there right now. One-bedroom properties seem to be bucking the trend with the highest levels of demand just now. 
two beds are really steady, but there is less demand in our three bedroom plus non HMO properties, which again is typical for this time of year. Families are recovering from the festive period, getting children back into school and routines, etc., before they turn their attention to relocation. We do not doubt that this market will improve, but we may bring you a smaller choice of tenants to choose from if your property is empty just now. Finally, last couple of things, adapting to the changing landscape and our commitment to success. We are very positive about the year ahead. There will no doubt be challenges, but my Agile team are always ready to adapt. And as always, we love to hear from you. Let us know what we can do better and also what we are doing well. We will be sending out invitations for review meetings, but please don't ever hesitate to reach out to us if you have any concerns or simply want to chat. We are here for you and you can connect over Teams, Zoom, Loom, phone, or, you know, even in person. Your satisfaction is our priority and we appreciate your proactive approach in keeping us informed. And without further ado, I wish you good health for the year ahead.